very dark and murky. It was definitely the most terrifying part of the whole experience. The beatings would start and it would be slapping in the face, hitting in the stomach, sometimes kicking. I think at the rate I was going, I could have wound up killing somebody. Robert and his partners administered their own form of street justice. Bribe someone Monday, uh, you had sex with someone unwarranted Tuesday, you know, uh, you, you, you were transporting drugs Wednesday. We're driving in, we noticed people running towards us, so we had to stop the vehicle exactly where we were. Our thing was to get those people to safety. I was thrown out of the vehicle, but my best friend told me that after the vehicle stopped rolling, he had to kick his way out of the passenger side door. He finally found me about 20 to 30 feet out into the woods on the side of the road. Dipping under the bridges, and he's not a garbage can. Rehab centers would get him clean long enough to reclaim his family, but crack always called him back to the streets. Within an hour, emergency personnel located them in the dark Texas night and pulled them from the wreckage. They were medevac to a hospital in Odessa, where Chelsea was placed in the ICU in a coma. I'm very thankful for what the judge did, and I'm very thankful for my attorneys and the people in my life. But above all, I'm thankful because God gave them to me. And it was he that set me free in my spirit, in my heart, in my mind, and in my body. Today, Josh is a free man. He encourages others to put their hope in Jesus during their times of trouble. Just turn to Jesus. In your moment of desperation, turn to Jesus.